Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about pulse code modulation and differential pulse code modulation. Okay. To perform this experiment, we need Scientec kit, which is designed for PCM, DPCM, and CVSD modulator and demodulator. Okay. And we need DOSO which is digital storage oscilloscope this one is due to digital storage oscilloscope or DUSO and connecting wire or DUSO probe these are the probe we used to perform this experiment and these are the connecting wire ok so this is the kit where we just perform the experiment of pulse code modulator first and demodulator with the PCM signal PCM is, is the only digital modulation technique which is commonly used for digital transmission. PCM or pulse code modulation is a digital coding signal technique in which the pulses of the PCM signal is fixed length and amplitude. PCM is a system of binary where pulses with the time slot either logic 1 or 0. Okay, you see. This is the kit. Here you see your signal type is given. Okay. From where we generate the different types of signal sine, square, triangular, arbitrary. So this is the signal generator where we just apply the miss not generator actual signal type. From here we just different types of, apply the different types of signal. So we apply the sign from here. And this is the select key to select the uh, different signal type, different types of signal. And then you see here one LED glow LED is given. Actually, um, those LEDs are glows means these are connected for this uh, configuration. We are going to perform uh, operation or experiment on PCM. So you see all the uh, LED where PCM is operation then it is glowing ok so first this is your PCM uh, configuration circuit here the input signal is directly applied to, to your sample and hold circuit which is a circuit periodically sample the analog input signal and convert into samples of multi level PIM signal and then the output of the sample and hold circuit directly applied to your ADC or analog to digital converter and then the sample of the analog to digital converter directly applied to parallel to CL converter actually AD converter convert the sample of the samples to parallel to CL converter which convert the binary data in the parallel data to serial digital pulses and then we pass the signal through different channel these are the channel you see admitter is given then amplifier is used to amplify the signal and then low pass filter and then noise three different techniques are we, is channel selection is given to pass the channel and here your demo, uh, demodulator section is given you see in the demodulator set whatever the signal we receive from this channel it is directly applied to serial to parallel converter actually the output of PCM is connected to serial to parallel converter which convert the pulses from PCM to parallel PCM codes and then the output of the serial to parallel converter is applied to DSA means digital to analog converter which convert the parallel PCM codes in, into a multi-level signals and then we pass the output of the DSO, uh, sorry digital to analog converter through this low pass filter you see there is one low pass filter is given 
to uh, to grout using low pass filter we just remove the noise from the signal and whatever the output we got the output side of this low pass filter this is your demodulated output of the modulated signal so to start this experiment first switch on this and you see here uh, sine wave first select sine wave and then it is automatically glow here you see and here the signal frequency is given sine type means signal type is sine wave and this frequency corresponding frequency 50 hertz and these are the and these are the sampling frequency different sampling frequency the rate or level is given here actually this is this one is your 500 hertz then 1 kilohertz then 1.5 kilohertz then 2 kilohertz then 3 kilohertz okay so first using dso probe we just check the sinusoidal signal you see this is your signal type okay sinusoidal ufo is given here and now we just apply this directly to sample hole circuit and then check the sample hole output you see this is the sample hole output actually why in we increase the sampling frequency you see it can sample the signal or sampling rate of the signal is increases you see so when we just changing the sampling frequency only it output of from we changes okay now connect this one this okay this is your parallel to serial converter output okay and then you check the different channels output these are the you see these are the channel selection key and then we connect over here this is your amplifier output this one is your amplifier output and then pass through this output of the pcm through low pass filter okay this is your low pass filter so in this way we just uh, modulate the pcm signal whatever the means not actually pcm modulated output we got here okay now we just demodulate the output whatever we got in the my output of pcm in modulator set so you see this is the pulse code demodulator section so we just connect you see whatever the signal we got here same type of signal we got here okay then connect over here this is the digital to analog converter output now when we change the sampling frequency here automatically we got the changes in the dsa or digital to analog output you see okay now you see when we change the uh, sampling frequency right we will see we will actually got the output input whatever we send from the input set it's nearer to input okay so use by increasing the sampling frequency we will get back the original signal okay so then pass uh, this output through low pass filter this is the low pass filter you see this is the original signal when your sampling frequency is has 32 kilohertz okay
in the calculation table you see first we check the calculation table for sample and holds output so in the table you will first write signal type which is sinusoidal and then the frequency of the input signal and then whatever the sampling frequency we use here we just write and then uh, we draw the sample output at different sampling frequency and then the PCM output same first uh, write signal type or input signal type then the input signal frequency and then different sampling frequency and whatever the output we got for different sampling frequency you, write, uh, you just draw the uh, output waveform for PCM similarly we draw the output and observe the waveform whatever we got from the video for different channel 8 meter output then you see a low pass filter is given noise is not required only one output we draw here from 8 meter output actually amplifier output amplifier output and low pass filter output for a different frequency and the demodulator section output you see here first same signal type or the input signal we use actually here signal type and frequency is same for every cases and we just uh, check the output waveform changes in the output waveform same demodulator filter output first signal type then frequency and uh, then check the sampling frequency and then here we draw the output waveform for different frequency level so first you see here your Here you see uh, channel 2 is your means green color is your input and uh, this is your output demodulator output passes through low pass filter okay for input frequency 50 hertz and sampling frequency 4 kilo hertz this is your 4 kilo hertz uh, sampling frequency and then sample output and this is the sample output of the sample and whole circuit and then and this is your PCM output for 50 has input signal frequency uh, sorry not 50 500 has input signal frequency and sampling frequency is your 4 kilohertz and this one is your 8 meter output and this is your demodulated waveform in this way we just changes the sampling frequency and measure the output over every stage now we change the frequency sampling frequency to 8 kilohertz and then this is the sample and hold output and then this is the digital to analog output This is your 8 meter means amplifier output and this is your demodulated waveform means before low pass filter and this is your final waveform. So in this way we have to measure or we have to see the output of every stages 
okay every stage of this uh, by increasing the sampling frequency to 16 kilohertz and 30, 32 kilohertz so in this way you have to see the output and output of every sample hole circuit and pcm waveform after uh, demodulator waveform before the low pass filter okay so in this way you have to see the output of the modulator side as well as demodulator side okay this is up to all for this experiment thank you